Hello. We will discuss about epilepsy in the next few minutes. 6.5 crore people in the world suffer from seizures. One in 10 of us will have been diagnosed with seizures at some time or the other. And one in 26 of the world population would have been diagnosed as having epilepsy. These are not mere numbers. Every number is a patient and we must understand that all these things are patients and we should take care of them appropriately. Why discussing epilepsy is important is because we have a lot of misconceptions about epilepsy and people who have epilepsy are ostracized from the society. Especially women with epilepsy find it difficult to survive in this country of ours. 1% of the world population will have epilepsy and in India it's a major public health problem going by the numbers that we have and 6 to 10 million people live with epilepsy and it can happen at any age. It can happen in the young or it can happen in the elderly. Now it is every problem is specific to a person and people with epilepsy can have various disorders and majority of them do not have a known cause for epilepsy. So 60 to 70 percent of such people do not have any known reason for having a seizure. Some of the known causes could be because of birth injury, head injury, stroke, brain hemorrhage, tumor in the brain or infections of the brain and some drugs. What's important is people with epilepsy can have potential triggering factors in the form of flickering lights and lack of sleep or excessive tiredness, stress, excitement, especially in school going children before an examination, missing a meal, temper fever and during menstrual cycle in women. Now, most important reason for triggering of epilepsy is missing a medication in a known epileptic. Epilepsy can be of various types, but what is commonly known to them is what we call as generalized seizure where the entire body gets affected and the patient does not have consciousness. He becomes unconscious for the duration of epilepsy. To this contrary, we may have focal seizures where one particular part of the body can have movements which are uncontrollable and these things may remain to the restricted to the body part or may become generalized later. So what is important is that famous people in this world have suffered from epilepsy. To name a few, we have got people who are interested in cricket will know about John T. Rhodes. He is an epileptic. Great poets like Milton had epilepsy. Alfred Nobel, who instituted the Nobel Prize, also was an epileptic. Now, epilepsy was well known to the Indian physicians. They used to call it apasmara, which means loss of body function. And with this epilepsy, we have already made things very difficult for our people. Now, how do we diagnose epilepsy? When a patient has epilepsy means common type of epilepsy will have movements of the body which can be either jerky or continuous. It usually lasts for two to three minutes and becomes controlled thereafter without any medication. If this were to happen, we need not have to worry. What we need to do is in an acute epilepsy is you have to stay calm. You should not crowd around the patient so that the patient is able to breathe normally from the air. What is important is we should prevent the fall of a patient or injuring the patient from a sharp object like a corner of a sharp table or broken glasses nearby and loosen the tight clothing like a tie or a belt and we have to support the head so that the patient does not injure the head. Now, after the seizure is fits is over, you turn the patient to one side so that he does not swallow his own saliva into the lungs. Now, what is needed is give him some time and what all we should not do. Okay. Is it very important? We should not panic when a patient has fits. We should not try and control the fits because 
by controlling the fits we will only cause more damage to the patient we should not put anything in the mouth of the patient like a spoon some people use lemon some people use old some bad smelling shoes or iron key commonest thing that we do despite the so called educated population in this country and we should try and not move the person when the patient is having fit and do not feed him anything in the unconscious state majority of patients do recover very well in case if our patient do not recover what we need to do is wait for 5 minutes and if the fits continue or the patient has suffered a head injury or a serious body injury then you have to call for an ambulance and shift the patient to the nearest medical facility who can treat the epilepsy and mind you epilepsy is not infectious and epilepsy cannot be transmitted from person to person by contact and what we need to know is respect the epileptics it is just like that they are part of any other individuals when except some restrictions when they have fits and have medications and majority of epilepsy are correctable with drugs thank you